Now we'll come to the human uh, in human language. What are the major language families? Actually, all the story started when people started to migrate. Before that, I think language development was not much. It was not spreaded much because people were less people was there and they were concentrated in some remote area. Something happened, or you can say one series of uh, series of incident might be happen. That much historical uh, background or historical fact we don't have because we we are not developed that much to find everything. But as per uh, as per historical study, people started to migrate in different different directions. Wherever they are going, they are just taking their language with themselves. And once they will mix with other people, wherever they are going, different type of language will be created. And major language families are created by Indo-European. This is, you can say, biggest language family among all the families. Almost fifty percent people are speaking Indo-European language. Multiple language has developed from this. And uh, you can say almost seven thousand to ten thousand BC. in the very remote area of the africa still africa is not much developed that point of time you can assume how it was or how it would be from remote region of the africa people started to migrate in different different directions one group of people or one group of uh, one section of people has reached up to ukraine ukraine is one of the country in europe from ukraine again they have migrated three different directions one is toward arab iran afghanistan and india india you can say uh, southern peninsula you can just make it out because they have different language family that is called dravidian and another another group has migrated toward russia and another group has migrated towards the you can say other part of europe like uk spain and that time you can say uk spain was not much developed mainly you can say germany side and after german germanic language only english has developed very interesting story is there and not uh, you can say small story it is a very many of the books you will read then you will understand all these concept it is not needed very much detail but this background you must know and after our next language is there mandarin that is china japan and korea they are using and afro asiatic that much name not needed just i am giving you highlight these all are the called language families major these four five language families are there to uh, for uh, all the all the developed languages whatever we are using throughout the world just will try to look all these things pictographically then it will become more clear mainly our interest is here because uh, english is coming down some barrier we are all this session we are trying to learn about the english literature or you can say english language then our much our interest will be to understand little bit more about the indo european family this is around 5000 bc proto indo european proto means initial no need to confuse if some some variety is written proto germanic root no need to worry proto is a root word meaning is initial means initial period of indo european language family these all have developed baltic germanic roman celtic afterwards albanian greek armenian indo iranian indo iranian further has divided in indic and iranian and from indic language again has come you can say like here you can say indo iranian one of the say, one of the branches was there it is so many complex i have not put here complex figure otherwise you will not able to understand properly due to easy picture i am putting to understand just grasp the idea no don't don't go in detail that was detail note but grasp the idea how it is developed indo iranian one of the branches was there indo aryan family in indo aryan old was there vedic sanskrit middle it was prakrit pali ardhamagdi of after then uh, so many languages have developed modern again hindi marathi bengali gujarati punjabi odia sindhi maithili bhojpuri others are developed but it is coming from the indo aryan indo aryan is the uh, coming from indo iranian indo iranian is from indo european families here you can see the percentage almost 50% people are using the root family or you can say from coming indo european family next is your sino tibetan or another name is there mandarin next after what 5% 6% another dravidian language that is our southern india language that is around 4% people are using japanese uh, after then altaic and others leave it 